What's going on, my PT peeps, my walking dead family, and my fighters? I'm One Eye Bry, also known as PT. You don't know if I'm winking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about The Walking Dead Season 11, Episode 22. Spoiler warning, I don't want to ruin it for you, but the foreshadowing of Rosita in the episode again, spoiler warning. So in Season 11, Episode 22, we see Rosita attacking the warden, and she's trying to find her baby, baby Coco. And I have to admit, I couldn't understand what the warden said because it was so low and kind of muffled. So thank you to everyone that let me know what he actually said. But baby Coco is not at Alexandria and Rosita, of course, is trying to find her. The warden is not giving up any information. So Rosita grabs the Commonwealth trooper that's now a walker. Happened really fast, by the way. But either way, Rosita puts the walker right up in his face and says, where is she? Where is she? You know, trying to get information for him to talk. And everybody just watches it. Everyone watches Rosita. And they're all like, yep, do your thing, girl. Get that information because they want to know where the rest of the kids are because only Herschel was at Alexandria. So the warden actually looks at Rosita, not the walker, smiles and says something that's kind of muffled. But the closed captioning says that he said, you will lose everything. So what does that mean? She'll lose baby Coco, her life. Hmm, interesting, right? How do you lose everything? It's a good question. But then Rosita doesn't like that information because she's like, all right. So she lets the walker bite his face. Nabila's like, damn. And now the warden is going to be a walker. And that's really where it's left off. But our group has control of Alexandria. But the fact that he says, you will lose everything is interesting because of potential spoilers the filming for episode 23 and 24, we know some potential spoilers about Rosita. So let's go to the trailer, right? So the trailer back at San Diego Comic-Con months ago, we see Rosita really in a dangerous situation. And this is the area where people think that Rosita gets bit. This is also from the trailer from San Diego Comic-Con. So we saw some big things in the trailer. Her precarious situation, this spot right here, also her jumping. You know, they really didn't hide the fact that Rosita may die. And we don't know if the rumors are true, but the more than likely potential spoilers that will come true. But the fact that Rosita could die makes sense because we haven't lost a major character in a long time. Really, Alden is the last character that we lost. Also in the trailer, we see that Rosita finds baby Coco. She's standing on top of what I believe is an ambulance, a bright red ambulance. And if you know my red theory, you know she's in danger. Photo credit to Stephanie Andrews. We see baby Coco. We see Rosita. We see a bright red Commonwealth ambulance. So these are from filming months ago. Rosita was in the front seat is what Stephanie Andrews writes here in the Commonwealth Bright Red Ambulance. We see the Rosita stunt double on top of the Bright Red Ambulance. And this is not Christian Serratos, it's the stunt double that she's gonna make a leap onto the wall to hopefully get saved by Father Gabriel and Eugene. But we do see Rosita, Christian Serratos go inside the ambulance and the word is that she is bit and there's no way to save her, so she will die. Now we haven't seen the episodes yet. We haven't seen episode 23 and 24. And also the fact that we have not lost a major character in some time, Rosita fits a bunch of different check boxes for her to actually die. So is it foreshadowing what the warden said? You will lose everything, hence her life. She will be the big character death this last part three. I think it makes sense. So I, it's foreshadowing on multiple levels. It makes sense. And, you know, for Rosita fans, they probably do not want to hear that. And we'll find out in episode 23 and or 24. But the way this is going, they'll probably stretch it out to episode 24. But I'm excited to see how it goes down. How about you? Let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. And please support the PT channel when you can. We have a Patreon. We have membership programs. We have a bunch of different things that really helps the channel out. But either way, thank you guys. We truly appreciate all the love and support. We cannot do it without you. Much love to all the supporters. Stay safe. And as always, tell them, Daryl. Yeah, we love you.